Editor's note, the following contains Jerry and Marge go large spoilers. Whenever a film proclaims to be based on a true story, it is always an open question about how genuine of a statement that will actually turn out to be. In Jerry and Marge go large, the truth is but a light suggestion as it takes a revealing story that had a lot of teeth only to turn it into a feel-good film that strips away all the nuances that made it so fascinating. It stars Brian Cranston as Jerry and Annette Benning as Marge, both of whom give charming performances that prove to be the best part of an overly schmaltzy story. Drawing its title from the outstanding work by investigative reporter Jason Pagoni, it follows the older couple as they begin to game the lottery. You see, Jerry has recently retired and is uncertain about what to do with his golden years. He doesn't particularly want to go out on a boat and is more interested in solving puzzles with math. When he stumbles upon a way to do just that and make a whole lot of money at the same time, he throws himself into his newfound pursuit. The woefully safe film only scratches the surface of this quite promising premise, opting to create more of a cheap crowd pleaser than a genuinely compelling story. If you go back to read Fagoni's piece, which you absolutely should do if you want to get the whole story, it immediately becomes clear that his reporting of what actually happened far exceeds anything this adaptation is able to provide. In the written word, he was able to create a comprehensive character study that also doubled as a complex portrait of American capitalism that was going through an economic crisis. The film replicates none of this, cherry-picking out superficial details that it plays up in a conventional story without any of the authenticity or depth of what took place. It is all light calories and no substance, passing by in the blink of an eye without leaving any lasting impression. This extends not just to the details that give context to the time period, but to the actual characters themselves. Image via Paramount Both Jerry and Marge feel like shadows of their real-life counterparts, made into being more folksy without any sense of interest in portraying who these people actually were. Details from their real lives are introduced as throwaway lines that feel like half-hearted acknowledgements of more interesting people as opposed to actual scenes that would have added texture to the story.